how's it playing with the other bands? I noticed, you know, like I said, 13 years ago, you guys were out with Cinderella. And now? It's a kick-ass show, um, two great bands. What's it like out there, you know, uh, I remember watching shows like uh, the, the Decline of Westerns. Right, and exactly. And Metal Years, and there you had Tie Me Down, and, yeah. and, and mm -hmm. you know, people that, uh, for, for myself, I aspire to be like that. Right, right. And uh, uh, what's it like being out with those guys now, now that everybody might have a little different uh, station in life? Yeah, right. Well, I, I love Fast the Pussycat, and, and, and I love Winger, and, and it's because Winger's a great band, you know, and um, because they're so good, it's almost easy to, you know, take a shot at them because they're just so perfect, you know? Every harmony is perfect, they all play so great, you know? So it's easy like to like, you know, there's, you know, there's, you know, there's nothing sloppy about them, you know? And sometimes in rock and roll, sloppy is sexy, you know? But they are so they're great, great musicians. So you have Fast the Pussycat, which is just a slop fest. And then right up to buttressed up against Winger, which is just like genius. And it's just like, it, it makes for a great, great eclectic audience. And, and, and then Cinderella plays, and Cinderella's always been a classy, classy band. They've always been um, the type of band where, you know, it, it, it's never a cheap shot. They'll always do, you know, they'll play everything right. You know, if, if it means them not running around, they'll do everything classy the right way. And, and, and with Poison, when we end the show, we just do we just try to be like a keg of dynamite in a paint store, you know, and just bam, you know, and just go crazy with it. It seems like after you're talking about your 911 guitar here, um, after that whole thing, it seems like America really needs a lot of entertainment now. Does it make you feel good to go up and be able to entertain and let people forget for a couple hours maybe what's been going on that day or forget things like that? Um, well, I, the, the 911 thing is just... Every time I watch it again and again and again, every time I see it, it still is like it didn't happen. It's still so unbelievable. It is so unbelievable. You have to understand, I, I grew up in Brooklyn, and, and when I would go to work, every day I would come, I'd you know, take the B train from Brooklyn to Manhattan, and every day I would see those two big, huge towers over the bridge on my way into, that was a messenger in Manhattan, and um, I can't even fathom them being gone. I can't even fathom anyone hating a country or, or a religion or something that much to, to, you know, to just have that, that rage, you know? So um, even the entertainment factor is secondary compared to why, you know, what, why did that happen? I mean, it, it, it honestly, it, it really put, it made me realize that what I do isn't really that important. You know, it it really did. You know, but I mean, yes, I, w I would love to. Um, I would love to say that it's nice to entertain. But I mean, when something that earth shaking, that absolutely history changing thing happens, we all need to think about what are we going to do. I mean, how do we be safe as a country? How do we be fair but still be strong? And and you know and and. I know I'm getting off the subject, but I mean, it, it's, it's not like a type of question that you just gloss over. I, it's, I'm very disturbed by it, you know. Well, we're things up, though. How's the new album doing? The new album's doing great. I get to sing on uh, three songs off the new album because, you know, I'm a frustrated singer, you know, so. So you had, you, on, uh, I believe, uh, Power of the People, was it? You had, uh, I got to sing a song. I yes. hate every bone in your body but mine. Yes, was that your, your were you trying to be maybe a little well, like I, I, I think that the country music always has some great lyrics. They, 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 those double entendres. And I, I love, I love country lyrics, and and I've always kind of liked that type of thing too. So I think maybe that, um, I mean, like if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? I mean, that type of thing where I, I love that, that that's that wittiness. So, um, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was, you know, it could be like anything. And it just, I just was searching for something that was witty, you know, trying to find something witty. And it was trying to find something that I can relate to, where, 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 where sometimes you love the woman, but you don't like them. You, oh, God, I love you, but you drive me nuts. I love you. God, I love you, but you drive me crazy. 
maybe if I didn't love you so much, I would probably get along with you better, you know. So, so it's that, that uh, crisis that we, you know, that we all have, you know. So. I heard a radio interview on Friday with Brett with the local uh, radio station here, and he was all excited. He had pyro in almost every song. Yeah, it's crazy. Is the stage production even Huge. bigger than? Huge. Even bigger. Really? It's even bigger. It's even bigger. The sound's better. It, the production's bigger. We have, we have, um, we have pyro. We have these crazy confetti cannons that just everyone ends up dirty. The whole audience is just full of paper and full of different color everything. I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous. So they go home sweaty and dirty. It's, sw like it's great. After, it, it's, after. I'm telling you, it's great. And, I, and, and again, we are so lucky to still do it. That don't think that the tarnish, that don't think that it's like, you know, we're going through the motions. Every night we get ready and uh, because we almost lost everything, we are so excited to go out there and, 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 and do the best we can. And, and, and you'll see it. You'll see. From the first song, you'll be like, wow, these kids, these guys, this is not a nostalgia tour. These guys are trying to break. They're trying to break their asses again. I mean, then, you know, it's dead on. Because you, you guys were a soundtrack for most of my high school. Yeah, I, uh, I went off and played in bar bands and whatnot. And if I had a dime for every time I had to play every rose as a star boy. Yeah, I know. I might own that camera. Right, right, right. But I know what you mean, though. But yeah. it's nice to see um, a lot of people. I'm 31, and a lot of people my age who grew up with you guys. Oh well, you're yeah, you're quite a bit younger than I am. But and, yeah, uh, so. it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun for me now, and I can speak to probably a lot of people who listen. Yeah, to and it, it is good. And, and, and it's still doing it. And, and we're trying. And we're rocking. I mean, I'm telling. I know it. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you that. Oh, <laughs> we suck. We're old. We sit down when we play. You know. But the truth is, is that we are working so hard. I mean, the band is working. We're all in. Like, look, you got, I mean, I'm not lying. We got a, I, got, I got a treadmill in here because I want to make sure that I'm giving 100% of everything. I, you know, I mean, uh, I don't want to be as lazy. As a rock star myself, I have to ask this question. Are the babes still as good? They're beautiful. Or? Every, I mean, I'm, I, you know, you know, it, you it's. Can't complain. It's. It, let me tell you something. There was nothing. I mean, I, my whole life, I think back and I say, what was I so angry about? How, I mean, what was I so angry about? And I don't have an answer because the anger came from within me. I, was, I don't know what I was crying. Well, I, I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I'm sure that's another interview. Get inside Cecil's warped head. You know, but, but uh, the thing is that once you stop and you realize that you can't help and you can't change, um, you, know, you, you know, you can only do so much. Um, life is too short to just be angry, you know, and, 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 you know, and I'm not saying be reckless, you know, be responsible, and, you know, but I mean, realize that everything you do has a repercussion, but at the same time, you can't beat yourself up for not feeling the way, you know, you think you should feel or whatever, you know, and uh, it's been, having this second chance has been th therapeutic. Are you kidding me? I, every, I, I wait. I wait. I, it, there's an hour and a half that I go on stage, and everything else is just waiting to get on that stage. As soon as I get off the stage, I'm waiting for the next day to get on again. As soon as I get off, I'm showering. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this different. I'm going to, oh, oh, you know what? I could probably hit a wham bar there for, you know, and I'm thinking about the next show, you know, because, I, I mean, I love it. Plus, they're not, they already paid a ticket, so they got to they listen to me. They're stuck. Very few people are gonna walk, so I'm like, I have you for right now, uh, da, 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 you know. So it's like, it's a captive audience. We love that. 